Gaff, after being 2-1 to the good with about five minutes of normal time remaining, I imagine you're probably scratching your head as to how we've managed to lose that game 4-2. Um, I'm not scratching my head because I can see what happened in front of me and where we could do better. So um, I'm obviously devastated that we actually did lose the game um, because it was a game that we were the dominant team again and um, but we put ourselves under pressure with the, the first goal that we conceded but I thought we responded really well to it and um, and grew back into the game straight away I think we had some brilliant chances before half time we should have equalised but um, after going 2-1 up um, we went away from what's got us our success in the last you know, seven or eight games of being on the front foot and and, and we, we stepped backwards and um, and that's a harsh lesson for us uh, all to, to understand why we play in the way we do, how we defend in the way we do, how we're um, always on the front foot. Um, as soon as you go back, you give the emphasis to, to the opponent and, um, and today they've punished us. It was very nearly a performance like we've seen the likes of that has, that has brought us the success over the yeah. past eight, nine games or so. How frustrating is it to work so hard and get back into the game and, and get ahead in the game? And then, like you mentioned, to have the signs right in front of you to see what went wrong in those final 10, 15 minutes of the game to, to end up losing. Yeah, it's um, it's really frustrating because, you, you know, we, we've, we're we so strong on it and, and the... the the major part of that is we've had success from it. So you know, I know when we first sort of started uh, pressing the way we do and and playing on the front foot, the players had to be convinced that this is a good way of defending and and also turn it into an attacking phase and, and play. And we've had the rewards from that. So um, I just thought at two one we we went. <laughs> You've got to fight instinct sometimes, you know, because you know you have to have a lot of discipline and sort of um, and trust your training and trust what we've done over the last um, uh, couple of months to stay on that front foot, stay in in aggressive positions, because um, it's it's an age old thing in in football where you you want to hang on to a lead. Certainly, maybe you you get the the leading goal so close to when the full time whistle is that you start looking at the clock and you you're not focused on what what we've been doing so well for so long and um and you just step backwards um and that and uh it's a harsh le well it's a harsh lesson as i've said to the players it's a harsh lesson if we learn from it or if it, if we don't learn from it and get better then it's what we are and in the last 10 minutes we didn't look like a good team we didn't look like a proactive team we looked like somebody was hanging on and that's not been our way you know we've been really good at being brave and courageous and and pressing the ball and supporting each other and trusting each other and we just went back um took a backward step and I've, you know i've just watched the the second goal um after we go two one up and um it's just a catalog of um us going backwards you know, and uh, you know, from them playing out from the back, and what we've been brilliant at is not allowing teams to do that and turn it over. And um, that's a, it's a, it's a hard slap for us today, we, um, because after that, we still want to go and get the winning goal, and we've just become too open a little bit, and and we've just made lazy mistakes, really. Is it something that comes with time in terms of a mentality? You've not you've still not been here all too long, two months or so. Yeah. Getting into that that mindset of of taking the lead in a game and being able to successfully see it out and showing those traits that you need in order to be able to win a game. Yeah, it's, there's a you know in in football, the, not every team can win the odd game, win a game, or win draw lose, win draw lose, whatever it is. The good teams are consistent with understanding what they're good at, what they what has brought them success, and then repeat it, and then repeat it, and repeat it. There's slight adjustments because obviously the opponents you play are slightly different, but y your identity and, and your sort of um, your focus on the game has, has got to be consistent how you do it. And that that last ten minutes we we didn't. Or I'd say the last ten minutes, the the minutes between us going two one up and them conceding, we we didn't be, we weren't that team again. Um, yeah, so it's a, it's a you know, they, 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 look, you don't you go through a season like you say. We've only been here a couple of months, and apart from the first one and a half games, it's gone really well. But the the last um, last fifteen minutes of that has shown us that uh, we can't rest. We can't um, sort of think we've we've achieved anything. Which I've, I've been repeating that you know we've you know when we won six on the bounce, okay, but we've got to win next week. We've got to stay consistent, and that and today was you know up. In spells was uh, a lack of consistency in in our phases of play, and um, like I say, it's a, it's a hard slap in in reality. It's a reality check, really. If you if you come off what we we've been doing so well, you can get punished.